Stress kills and sometimes we don't even know we're stressed. On this video, I'm going to show you the telltale signs you're stressed and four key herbs to help you fight stress. So if you're ready, let's go. First of all, not all stress is bad. You can also have good stress. Good stress also known as eustress. Eustress is usually a product of nerves which can be brought on when you're faced with a new or exciting challenge. Eustress can result in feelings of inspiration, motivation, resilience or physically via certain types of bodybuilding. And then there's bad stress and this is where the problem lies. Stress affects us all at some level and this is due to the amount of brain activity, overwork and group living conditions of modern life. Almost three quarters of adults have at some point over the past year have been so stressed that they felt they were unable to cope. This is a big issue and this is because stress can affect how you behave. Such behaviours such as being unable to concentrate, biting your nails, being short tempered or quick to get angry and it can also affect you physically such as you feeling a bit tense, loss of libido, fatigue, headaches or chronic pain. Everything I've listed so far can be key symptoms of stress. But what is stress? Stress is the body's reaction to any change that requires an adjustment or response. The body can react to these changes with physical, mental or emotional responses. And these changes are referred to as stressors and stressors disturb the body's homeostasis. You guys with me so far? If you're with me so far, drop a comment, drop a like. This is really important information. But is this always bad? I want you to imagine this and I'm going to get in close so that you can, you can really hear me. Imagine you're walking in a forest. Up in the distance, you spot the most juicy, ripe mango. You walk towards that mango, you pluck it. When you pluck it, you feel the skin. The skin is so, it's, the skin is such skin-like, it's soft that you can smell the sweet smell of the mango just radiating up your nose. You go in to bite the mango. As you bite it, all the juices start seeping into your mouth. You taste it and it's one of the most amazing mango juices you've ever had. And then as you open your eyes, you see a big lion in the corner. At this point, stress is good because stress ignites your fight or flight response, allowing you to get away from the lion. This fight or flight is good because it allows you to get away. It speeds up your heart rate. It allows more blood to flow to your extremities and flow to your muscles. But the problem is then these stresses would be rare. But nowadays, these stresses are happening at an unusual rate leading to either prolonged, severe or frequent stress and therein lies the problem. So now we have a good understanding of the background of stress. Let's get into four key herbs to help you fight stress. Let's go. The first herb for fighting stress is Ginkgo biliboa. Ginkgo biliboa has been shown to help fight the most common type of stress and that is acute stress. Acute stress is experienced as an immediate perceived threat and this could be either physical, emotional or psychological. For example, getting pulled by the police, taking an exam, taking a test or just getting into an argument. During an acute stress response, the autonomous nervous system is activated and the body experiences higher levels of cortisol, adrenaline and other hormones that help increase the body's heart rate, quicken breathing rate and increase the blood pressure, allowing you to be more alert and more sharp and what the problem is this tends to happen a little bit too often and repeated acute stress or several acute stress responses in a row can lead to the symptoms of what they call chronic stress and chronic stress is actually what a lot of people go through and we don't really realize that we're under chronic stress we're chronically stressed and we're chronically inflamed ginkgo is a herb with antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties and it's said to boost circulation and influence the neurotransmitter activity in the brain one clinical trial found that ginkgo may benefit people with generalized anxiety disorder and this is a condition categorized by persistent excessive worry and about everyday matters which is something a lot of us tend to do so during this study 82 people with generalized anxiety disorder and 25 people with anxiety were given ginkgo or placebo for four weeks and what they found by the end ginkgo participants significantly showed improvements in anxiety symptoms so this is very promising a second study and this one conducted in mice showed that mice who were given ginkgo before an unavoidable stressful situation were less likely to be emotionally affected by stress those who have purchased my herb book link in the description 
will know that there are a lot of benefits of ginkgo, especially for the brain. And there is some evidence that it may help patients with dementia. To be honest, there's so many benefits of ginkgo that it deserves its own video. So if you wanna see a benefits of ginkgo video, make sure you comment in the description. If I get a couple comments, consider the video done. Ginkgo is very beneficial. It's one of the earliest herbs I ever bought and I bought that whilst at university and it really transitioned my university studies, especially when it comes to taking exams. The second herb to help fight stress is ginseng panax. Ginseng is an effective adaptogen. Adaptogens are able to help calm stressful situations and help restore normal functions in humans. But ginseng is superior in the regulation of stress. And this is in comparison with other adaptogens. Panax ginseng has been used traditionally in medicine for millennia for its ability to increase resistance to stress and strengthen mental capacity. But it also has beneficial effects as an anti-inflammatory agent. It's also antioxidant, helping fight free radicals within the body. But some say it's also anti-diabetic and some say it's also beneficial for cancer. It's anti-cancer. But for stress, ginseng is good. Ginseng effectively regulates the immune response and the hormonal changes that are due to stress, thus maintaining normal homeostasis. This herb is powerful. I have a whole video on the benefits of Panax Ginseng. If you click the eye somewhere around there, the third herb for fighting stress is chamomile, chamomile tea. Studies have shown chamomile to be effective in aiding with relaxation, but also helping with anxiety, depression, and insomnia. You may have heard how chamomile can help people sleep, but it's also beneficial for stress levels. We all should be aware of the negative spiral. A lack of sleep leads to stress within the body. Distress leads to more lack of sleep, which leads to more insomnia, which leads to more anxiety, which leads to more stress, which leads to more insomnia, which is a lack of sleep or an ability to sleep. And thus this negative spiral commences. So this herb can help you break out that negative spiral and put you in what I call an upward spiral. And since this herb is easy to get, you can literally buy a packet from your local shops, keep it at your workplace. Once or twice a day, you might just wanna have a tea before something important. You have a meeting to give, you wanna relax yourself. Go to the kitchen, make yourself a tea bag with some chamomile and take some deep breathing exercises to calm your nerves. Or you can even try some power poses. I don't know if you guys know about power poses, that might be something worth looking into. It will help calm yourself. The last herb in this video for fighting stress is ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is well understood for its effect on stress, even those with chronic stress. In a 60 day study of 64 people with chronic stress, those in the group that supplemented with ashwagandha reported a 69% reduction in anxiety and insomnia. In another study, a six week study, 88 people who took ashwagandha reported a reduction in anxiety compared 50% who took a placebo. Along with this other benefit, this is a powerful stress fighting herb. I have a whole video on benefits of ashwagandha if you click the I. I tend to use it in my smoothies. But guys, as an added bonus, and for this added bonus, I need every single person to drop a like and drop a comment. The added bonus is an honorable mention called turmeric. Curcumin is the most active compound found in turmeric root. Curcumin has been found to help reverse harmful brain changes induced by chronic stress. So adding turmeric to your chamomile tea, to your ginkgo tea may be beneficial for you. There's a lot of other benefits of turmeric from regulating appetite to its anti-inflammatory benefits, its antioxidant benefits. But if you can add that to your tea, in the workplace or at home before something important, you will feel the benefits. I tend to use turmeric in some of my teas when I have something important going on, like a heavy lift in the gym. Other things you can do to help you fight stress is eating a balanced diet, high in omega-3 fatty acids, good fatty acids, getting enough sleep, seven to eight hours, exercise. Exercise is one of the best remedies for stress because of what it does to the body and the chemicals and hormones that are released after you exercise. This could be either bodybuilding such as resistance training or it could be cardiovascular training, running, jogging, things of that nature. Other things you can do is breathing exercises. Breathing exercises are very good to relax you, calm the mind, calm the body, meditate, bring your thoughts just to your breathing. But more importantly, and I don't want to miss this out because this is crucial, if you're feeling extremely stressed, speak to someone, speak to someone, speak to someone in your social circle or speak to a therapist, invest the money and speak to a therapist. There's powers in letting your stress out and speaking about them with somebody. 
as always guys health is wealth and i don't want you guys to be stressed out i want you to be happy because stress is a precursor to getting depressed so look after yourself as always health is wealth before you go if you want to get into a bit more herbs make sure you click my face to get my herb guide make sure you hit the subscribe button right here and before you go these two videos here will change your life click here and click here see you guys in the next one peace